Jag here, and it's time once again for Jag's Jabs. And today, yours truly, Jefferson Alonzo Green, J to the A to the G, the Jag, is jabbing at any of you clowns, any pro wrestling fans that have the balls, that have the testicular fortitude, the, as Stephen A, Stephen A would say, the unmitigated gall to insinuate, to say, that X-Pac, Mr. Sean Walkman, has no business being a two-time Hall of Famer. Now keep in mind, he is not in there as a solo wrestler. He's in there doing what he did best, which is as a member of a team, a member of a faction. Now let's talk about this for a second. DX, yes, self-explanatory. NWO, this man was the sixth member of the NWO. That's why his name was Six. If you're the sixth member of the NWO and the NWO is being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I think you have a right to be part of that induction. Now granted, I will say that Vince and the WWE have been pretty selective about who's going to represent the NWO in the Hall of Fame with only four members of a faction of God knows how many. But hey, this guy was one of the originals. He's one of the OGs, the sixth member. If you have a problem with that, I, I, I got two words for you. Now here's the other thing. Sean Waltman was a fantastic freaking wrestler. This guy was cruiserweight champion in WCW, light heavyweight champion, multiple tag team champions. I mean, light heavyweight. He was a light heavyweight champion multiple times. This guy tagged with Kane, with Marty Jannetty, with Razor freaking Ramon. I mean, look guys, I don't know how we can make this any more clear. The guy is a pro. If you were, were building a wrestling promotion in the late 90s, early 2000s, mid 2000s, and you had an opportunity to pick up X-Pac or Sean Waltman, you damn right you would. And here's the other part. He knew how to work a mic. The guy was great in the ring. Act like you didn't get excited when he hit the Bronco Buster. The Bronco Buster was one of the most exciting moves back in the Attitude Era. That was awesome. I mean, his entrance was fire. His mic skills were good. Tell me you didn't like that song. Act like you didn't like X-Pac's DX entrance song. I'll wait. One half of the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, X-Pac. X-Pac and Triple H at Backlash. They had a hell of a match. You know that song was fire. And he'd come in with the crotch chops and the freaking uh, uh, pyro going off in the shape of an X. And then he teamed up with Kane, taught Kane how to talk. You guys must be tripping. I know it's the cool thing to hate wrestlers nowadays. I know it's the cool trend to hate on someone, but if you hate on Sean Waltman, you don't love wrestling. This guy created so many memories and so many memorable moments. The guy put in so much work, sacrificed his body over and over again for our entertainment, and you have the testicular fortitude to say he doesn't deserve to be a two-time, two-time Hall of Famer? I think in the, context, in the context of a faction or group, him being a two-time Hall of Famer, is perfect. He even said he doesn't want to go in as a singles wrestler. So what in God's name are you clowns complaining about? The last thing I'm gonna say is this. When you feud with Ric Flair, D'Lo Brown, Marty Jannetty, Razor Ramon, Jeff Jarrett, AJ Styles, this guy's been in the ring with the very best. He has feuded with them, he's fought them, he's won, he's lost. If you don't show this man his due, you cannot. In any true fashion, call yourself a wrestling fan if you think it's fun or cool to hate on X-Pac. Now I get it, X-Pac heat, X-Pac this, X-Pac that, but X-Pac was the freaking man. And any of you aspiring wrestlers, any of you aspiring workers would give your left nut to have the kind of career that X-Pac has had. That man deserves your respect, and if you don't give him the respect, the Jag is gonna call you out. And I'm calling you out today because X-Pac Sean Waltman 6 deserves to be a two-time Hall of Famer as part of DX and the NWO, two of the greatest factions in the history of pro wrestling. And you want to know who doesn't belong in the, in the Hall of Fame twice? Hulk Hogan. But that's tomorrow's jab. That's it for Make Me a Fan. This is Jags Jabs. I am AKA the Jag Jefferson Alonzo Green, and I will see you and your hating asses tomorrow.